Well, here they go. Frangelico's got the one draw. Cinemont Jr. from the North Island draws two. Skipper Dale is three. Sunset Candios from Queensland draws four. Freightman goes from five. Metal Mickey from six. Laser Lad, Peter Jones, seven. Lightning Blue from Victoria draws eight. Horizon has drawn nine. On the second line, Spry Joker goes from ten. Captain Cavalla has drawn eleven. Aaron Blaze, twelve. And from New South Wales, Paleface Bubble draws outside the second row. Let's uh, look at the advanced dividends for this race. Uh, Frangelico is at 6.15 and 1.95. Cinemod Junior at 9.60 and 3.35. Skipper Dale's offering 6.75 and 1.95. Sunset Candios at 11.90 and 2.85. Freightman at 13.40 and 2.95. Metal Mickey at 12.70 and $3.20. Laser Lad, $10.90 and $3.65 to Lightning Blue at $3.80 and $2 the place. Horizon at $103 and $20.40. Spry Joker, $62.70 and $13 even. Captain Kavala, $76.90 and $20.90. Aaron Blaze at $94 and $15.20. Pale Face Bubble, $6.30 and $3.40. Let's join Ron Finlay, who has trainer Clive Herbert, trainer of Metal Mickey. Well, Clive, thank you for coming on the show. Metal Mickey, what do you fancy uh, its chances in this heat? He's got to run the first five again, Ron. Uh, my calculations, I hope they're right. <laughs> three fifths, three fifths will give us uh, three nines of 27, and 27 will just about make the final. You think you could win the final, having seen some of these others? Oh, they're pretty good, aren't they? Mm. I'm just Master happy. mood, bag limit. Yeah, and my, my fella's doing well, so I'm pretty happy. Morris McKenzie's driven it right through its career? Uh, most of the time, when he's been available, he's driven him. He's uh, nine wins on him. What's so. the best aspect about Metal Mickey? What's he like best? Uh, well, I would think the distance will suit him tonight. It's a little bit longer, and uh, as long as the pace, he doesn't mind the pace hard, as long as you've got, as long as you've got some cover, and it's a true steady pace all the way. Clive, is Metal Mickey the first horse you've ever had? No, I've had other horses. Uh, I've had a little bit of luck along the way. Uh, he would be the best. Um, training a very nice two-year-old at home too, and he's going along pretty good, so we're doing all right at the moment. Trotting fans who are soccer fans would know the name Herbert from Ricky Herbert, who played for the All Whites and still does. Uh, you're involved in soccer too in Auckland, aren't you? Yeah, pretty busy. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, very lucky at the moment because uh, my two co-directors at home, uh, Noel Robinson and Neville Callender, uh, they're flat chat doing all the work for me because uh, Sunday we've got the first of the Cup Winners' Cup on an Australasian basis, uh, Sydney City, uh, we'll be in Auckland to play North Shore at uh, North Shore Domain, Devonport Domain, on Sunday. And uh, the following Saturday, the Mount Wellington team, which uh, is captained by Ricky this year, uh, they fly to Adelaide to play Adelaide City in the Champion of Champions. So uh, on Friday night this week, uh, <laughs> my young club, Manuria, was in the semi-finals of the big pre-season tournament in Auckland. So it's a pretty hectic time at the moment. Well, Clive, we hope you have success with the soccer and with Metal Mickey, and thank you. Thank you very much, Ron. And let's take a look at Metal Mickey now as he does his preliminary. He's trained by Clive, driven tonight by Morris McKendry and looking for an improvement on his fifth. Well, Metal Mickey, last win was the Waikato Cup at Claudelands and that was five starts ago. Didn't go a bad race for fifth in the slop on Saturday night. And as you've heard from Clive Herbert, he's reasonably confident. I think he'll go good again. I dare say Ken Webber, the Cambridge trainer, was just a little worried after Cinema Junior's performance the other night in only running ninth on a condition or track that uh, probably would have suited the horse. Tonight, Cinema Junior gets another chance. Let's see how he goes with driver Peter Ferguson. Well, Philip, you're right. Disappointing is the word for him on Saturday. He had the track made to measure. He won the TVNZ mile two starts ago on an off track. It was certainly admittedly worse on Saturday. Um, new lease of life this nine-year-old and uh, maybe he's come to the end of the run at the wrong time have to take him very much on trust but the draw will help here's number 13 pale face bubble this horse was a convincing winner on the first night over the 2000 mobile and Mike Ilsley of Sydney was very excited about that I wonder if he'll be excited tonight bit of a problem for this horse he won very easily by leading most of the way on Saturday he's drawn the outside of the second row is going to find it very hard to get up anywhere near the lead 
Now, if he's driven upside down, he mightn't go as well. We saw that with Alpine Fella earlier in the night. Looks a picture. The run certainly hasn't worried him. And uh, just a question of how well he'll fare over the first 800 metres when they leave the barrier. Here's number 12 now, Aaron Blaze. Went a very good race in the television New Zealand mile, but ever since has been struggling a little. Ian Cameron is the driver. Yes, I think we'll be held safely enough by the better class horses in this. Aaron Blaze didn't show anything at all on Saturday on a track that was expected to suit her. She's only won seven races, Mark Hugh, and of course normally she'd be receiving a pretty good start from these horses. And uh, I don't know that Ian Cameron is terribly confident, and neither are the punters. Number 10 is Spry Joker, Jack Carmichael of Templeton, the trainer, and uh, you will see Geoffrey Hughes jumping for joy if this horse is successful. Well, I don't think he'll be jumping somehow, Philip. Uh, Spry Joker, a noted mudlark, had conditions made to measure on Saturday night and just didn't fire at all. He has won 11 races, so he's a cut-class pacer, but generally his wins have been when the best horses haven't been there, and I don't really rate him a chance, although he could get a good drag along from behind Frangelico, who's drawn number one, because she's a pretty good beginner. Here's number eight, Lightning Blue, the colours of Jim O'Sullivan of Victoria. He trains and drives this horse. He bought two over here, quite famous, and Lightning Blue. Well, he regards Lightning Blue as the best of the two, and I'm inclined to think that's right. Uh, it wasn't a bad fourth on Saturday night. In fact, 100 metres out, this horse had got his nose in front. Just peaked the last bit. Maybe with a little more time to acclimatise and get used to the uh, situation here, he might go a rather better place, a uh, better race rather tonight. He is the favourite. The punters are expecting him to win. He's drawn wide, but should get a good run. And uh, against this lot, should be too good. Skipperdale. Now nah, he's the horse that was one of the favourites for the New Zealand Cup back in November. He's a good type, but he's been troubled by a throat complaint. Yes, he's got a problem, this horse, and if he goes no good tonight, my guess is he'll be scratched for the remainder of the series. Uh, it will require a veterinary operation, apparently, the breathing problem he has. It's worrying him. He was there until about 200 metres out on Saturday and folded up pretty badly. And I'm sure Patrick O'Reilly Jr., who trains and drives this horse, uh, will have everything crossed tonight that things go better for Skipper Dale. Well, I wonder if the curtains are drawn tonight for Sunset Candios from Queensland. We'll be looking for a good run after a first night fourth and uh, the visitor from the sunny state. Well, Michael Ducks, the trainer and driver, gave this horse very little show at all on Saturday and he ran an absolute boomer to run fourth. So you never know. Horses are unpredictable creatures. Uh, Sunset Candios had a terrible draw on Saturday and still ran fourth. Uh, he's drawn four tonight, which will help. He likes to be up near the pace. I think he might be outfinished by a couple of the gun horses, but he's a good place chance just the same. So they're underway for the final pacing heat of the night for this Lion Brown Inter Dominion series. You can see number nine, Horizon, takes the, the widest possible mark. position. Coming up there is Laser Lad. Will he go a better race tonight? Peter Jones thinks he's no, a very good horse in the making. Out. We'll see now as we join our commentator, Rion Merthyr. Now, a pretty good line as they move around that far turn. And uh, we'll be taking a lot of notice in the Australian camp because uh, it'll be dependent on them to get a good run here tonight to continue yeah. on their qualifying point score. Round to the starting point they come. And uh, just about there, they're away and racing now, and Frangelico shot out from number one, and so did Cinema Junior from two. Wider out on the track and being rattled up as Lightning Blue and Jim O'Sullivan driving hard to the lead. It's followed out by Freightman, Skipper Dale and Spry Joker. They rattle past the judge at great speed now. And Jim O'Sullivan puts Lightning Blue away to the front by about two or three lengths. Is followed running second in the trail by Frangelico and moving up to Cinema Junior. Spry Joker fought the rail and Skipper Dale slotted into a 1-1 trail. They pass the 2,200. Freightman is following Skipper Dale and back of the inside. Captain Cabela is being joined around the outside of that runner then by Sunset Candios. And following that around his pale face bubble, the speed is really on. Then moving off the rail, Aaron Blaze and a little wider out and drifting a little bit as Metal McGee is followed over the outside by Horizon. Captain Cabela can't stay with it. It's retreating through on the inside and Laser Land has just gone past it. And Captain Cabela's tailing off. 
They travel down to the 1800 now, and Cinemont Jr. is the new leader. Hit Cinemont Jr. away by about two to three lengths now. Jimbo Sullivan now in second place with Lightning Blue. About a length and a half to Frangelico. As they pass the 1600 meter mark, they will pull it over the outside by Skipper Dales now left without cover. Freight Man is following it around and up against the rail to Spry Joker. In behind the Marin Blaze is being joined over the outside as they make their way round to the turn by Sunset Candios. Pale Face Bubble was left with Horizon the rail. And the last pair back on the outside as they travel down as Metal Mickey. And just to the inside of Metal Mickey as they race their way down through the straight was Laser Land. And Captain Cabela is pulled up or practically pulled out of the race 200 metres away. Cinema Junior races them down through the straight. Now a lap to go by two links from Lightning Blue with the trail of Frangelico nicely held together third. Skipper Dale's over on the outside having a bit of a hard run as they race to the showground turn. Spry Joker running fifth to the inside. Next to that on the outside is Freightman followed by Sunset Candy Oss and Aaron Blaze. Pale Face Bubble with three behind it. Horizon, Metal Mickey and Laser Lad. Into the back they travel 900 metres to go. And Cinemont Jr. by just over a length. Now Jim O'Sullivan, he hooks Lightning Blue off the rail to go up to be three quarters of a length away. Skipper Dale gets some cover and Frangelico shoots up to trail Cinemont Jr about a length away on the outside then to Freightman and through on the inside to Spry Joker, a length and a quarter next just off the rail on the outside is Sunset Candy as down the back they travel Aaron Blaze under the stick from Ian Cameron next to that is Pale Face Bubble then Horizon Metal Mickey and Laser Lad last of the bunch and they wheel off the back now 500 metres to run and as they race off the back Jim O'Sullivan takes the lead over the outside, Lightning Blue now in front, Cinema Junior Skipper Dale is out to challenge and they were followed a little wider out on the track by Sunset Candy Oss and Pale Face Bubble the Aussies they're starting to throw out the challenges and round the home turn and into the lead goes Skipper Dale it's Skipper Dale by two now he's coming away from the field he's out by three four he's going right clear of the field Pale Face Bubble starting to storm home Skipper Dale now he's starting to shut up and down the outside Pale Face Bubble but Skipper Dale is clear down to the post Pale Face Bubble getting to him but Skipper Dale sees it through from Pale Face Bubble running third Sunset Candy Oss then Lightning Blue alongside of Metal Mickey Brangelico. It was followed home by Horizon. Hitting the rest, Freightman, Laser, Lad, Cinemont Jr. and Aaron Blaze. And remember, Captain Cabela pulled out. So Skipper Dale is back in the reckoning. Spry Joker took a tumble, I think, in the latter stages of the race. Although we'll just confirm that in one moment. As Skipper Dale powers to a good victory in this, the last pacing heat of the night. There's been problems with this horse, but he has overcome them tonight and has gone on to record an easy victory indeed. It would appear that Jack Carmichael is up and A-OK -okay at the moment with Spry Joker, who fell at about the 450 metre mark. But the final stages of the race now with John May. They turn for home and we've just missed the fall. It took place just before this shot. And at this stage of things, the Victorian horse looked as though it was going to win. And that was lightning blue. But look at Skipper Dale come storming home. And don't forget this horse was parked without cover for most of the way. And uh, certainly this is a tremendously improved performance. And Skipper Dale, under a drive from Patrick O'Reilly, is holding on pretty well. Coming down the outside is the New South Wales representative, Pale Face Bubble in the blue and white. And also coming home pretty well is Sunset Candios from Queensland. But at this stage, Skipper Dale has got them shot to bits. He's out by about four lengths. Pale Face Bubble coming home very strongly now, but I think the winning post is going to come up and save Skipper Dale just in time, because look how this New South Wales horse starts to come home. That lead is cut right back, and Patrick O'Reilly very worried indeed, and heaves, I'm sure, a great big sigh of relief as the winning post comes up, and he wins it by about three quarters of a length. Pale Face Bubble is third, and uh, out of shot at the moment because it's a long margin. Number four, Sunset Candios from Queensland, comes on and would take the third place. No doubt the winner, good run too. And you can see that uh, Spry Joker took a tumble just in the latter stages of the race. Uh, what actually happened was hard to pick up, but the horse has returned to the birdcage and appears unharmed. They are within sight now of the judge, and it's Skipper Dale and Pat O'Reilly sticking close to the rail. The run from Pale Face Bubble was a good one. He came from well back in the field, but Pat O'Reilly has this horse back in inter-dominion uh, contention with a thrilling win here in the final pacing heat of the evening. No doubt about the winner, it's number three, Skipper Dale.
Skipperdale takes up the third pacing heat of the night and Ron Finlay has the successful driver, Pat O'Reilly Jr. Congratulations. Thanks, Ron. Good run. Yeah, it was, yes. Much better than the other night. Yes, it was. He was ten times the horse, really. Um, I wasn't too pleased sitting in park, but he fought on pretty well, really. And uh, it ran away from the better track, too, of course. Oh, the track helped, Ron. He, uh, he yes. wasn't really happy on Saturday. There was some thought that Skipperdale might be injured, might not be feeling right. This he has a wee problem with his throat, but it can't be too much wrong with it after tonight's run. Now, you've seen these others. How do you fancy yourself in the final if you make it? With the draw, I give him a bit of an average show, Ron, but if you draw a bad, well, just a runner show, really. Thanks very much, Pat. Thank you. Now we have the official placings and dividends. Number three, Skipper Dale, $7.10 and $2.10. 13, Pale Face Bubble for second, $2 even. Four, Sunset Candios, third at $3.10. Quinella, three and 13, paid $21.05. The Trifecta, three, 13 and four, $531.55. Now we can tell you that Skipperdale's broken the New Zealand record, the new winning time at 3.13.6, a new New Zealand record.